Ethics conversations about which books are allowed in the classroom continue as the first days of school get closer and closer. I just realized they're going back really soon. Mm -hmm. Our Lauren Lennon spoke with the State Library Association about how new regulations from the state are impacting librarians and educators. Lauren? Well, Kitty and Tessa, with school quickly approaching, the there are concerns about new state regulations for material allowed in classrooms. I spoke with the president of the South Carolina Association of School Librarians about concerns and confusion ahead of the year. So yes, a lot of school librarians and regular classroom teachers um, feel confused about what they will be able to purchase, um, what will be allowed by the state board and the State Department of Education. There is still confusion over what can be allowed in the classroom a month out from school start. People just aren't sure how far the regulation will be taken. Um, you know, you start to naturally go through what if scenarios in your head and you want to be cautious because, of course, nobody is interested in, you know, being called to the State Board of Education. Though the state regulation has not necessarily banned any books yet, it gives the Department of Education the ability to do so. Gregory said there were also concerns about lack of clarity if someone is found in violation. The wording says that um, the state board can just can investigate you if you fail to comply with the regulation. Um, and if you violate it more than once, that could lead to a hearing and any consequence that the board deems suitable. Ask them to either remove that wording or clarify it because that's not very clear at all. But at the end of the day, Gregory says the library is a positive tool for students and that shouldn't be forgotten. It's a place where all students can come and learn and explore and learn how to love to read. So that's that's the image that we're really trying to get focused back on. Um, instead of look, looking at a school library's place of fear or suspicion. Gregory mentions another concern with the regulation is if someone is not happy with the district's decision, they can appeal to the board, and the board has the power to take a book away from every public school in the state. She says this takes the power away from local districts. Gregory encourages every educator to read the regulation for themselves. Working for you, Lauren Lennon, News 4.